5.30 this morning, a group of protesters blocked both sides of King Faisal Highway, the main arterial road in Manama. Subsequent attempts by uniformed police officers to persuade the protesters to reopen the road reached an impasse. At approximately 7.58, a group of protesters attacked unarmed police officers, resulting in one police officer being stabbed and another sustaining a serious head injury. Police then sought to disperse approximately 350 protesters by using tear gas in order to clear the roads. At approximately 8.16, tents that had been placed near to the Bahrain Financial Harbor from the 6th of March were removed, following statements by protesters that were planning to close all entry points for workers to the Bahrain Financial Harbor. The Ministry of the Interior is currently undergoing operations to reopen the King Faisal Highway and has advised all protesters to return to the Pearl Roundabout for their own safety. Further updates will be issued in due course. And as you see, dear viewers, these are pictures which were recorded earlier today showing the demonstrators moving towards the police cordon that was trying to break the blockage of the King Faisal Highway. As you see, the demonstrators are working towards the police with vehicles and blocking the main road on the King Faisal Highway. The police was unarmed and had tried to speak to the protesters in order to clear the roads. However, the protesters refused to move away and then clashed with the police forces. This is the pictures close to the King Faisal Highway. And as, there's, as we can see, these are the protesters as they were using their vehicles and walking towards the police cordon. These chain of events, of course, had happened, uh, as we earlier indicated, since the early hours of the morning at around 5.30. And, of course, according to the Ministry of the Interior statement at 7.58, a group of the protesters attacked the unarmed police officers. And, of course, this attack has resulted in one police officer being stabbed and another, another sustaining a serious head injury. As we can see, these are the pictures that were recorded earlier today at the King Faisal Highway as police were trying to break a demonstration that was trying to block the road at the King Faisal Highway. Here we see the demonstrators sitting on the highway. And here is another picture as they are trying to move into the police cordon. This is the pictures as the police has tried to move towards the protesters, trying to... And these are other pictures from the central market, close to the vicinity of the area. And these are the ambulances that were called in to take the injured. And these are the police that had taken up positions. And this is a picture of one of the protesters trying to block the road using a sofa and some barricades. As we see the picture shows clearly the protesters blocking the the road with different kinds of furniture and here we see them uh, close to the central market as they were moving towards the roads and we can see one of the protesters there seems to be picking up what appears to be a rock and here's another footage of the pictures as they were dispersing. This is another picture which was taken by one of the Ministry of Interior helicopters and it shows as the protesters were marching to the King Faisal Highway, you can see them there attacking uh, what appears to be uh, the police vehicles and you can see them running across the causeway towards the peaceful police vehicles which were trying to disperse the protesters. And you can see here that one of their vehicles rammed into the police car and we see here a fire engine trying to put off the flames that has resulted in the... And here's another picture of one of the protesters using barricades 
to block the main King Faisal Highway. This is of course pictures that were taken earlier in the day by the Ministry of the Interior and you can see here a vehicle, uh, what appears to be a minibus, dragging a chain of barricades that are usually used for construction projects in Bahrain but here they're being used to block roads and this is another picture of them blocking another main road close to King Faisal. This is of course aerial view pictures by the Ministry of the Interior. That's the, the road after it was blocked earlier in the day. And as we indicated earlier, according to the Ministry of the Interior statement, these uh, actions by the protesters started at around 5.30 in the morning. And at approximately 7.58, a group of the protesters attacked the unarmed police officers. Here's another footage showing the protesters using their own vehicles to block the highways. That was the latest news updates.